Yo guys, P here again. Where do I start with how bad this captain is? Literally, you guys can tell from the thumbnail I made that you know where he belongs. I, I say captain, that's a... That's a... Sort of... I can't think of the word I'm looking for. That's uh Taking the mick out of actual Mario captains who are actually worth it. So, yeah. Basically... Yeah, if you've already seen the Frayne video or that, and then I've already talked about how I added Frayne into my Mario army. I was also playtesting the Black Shield Captain. Now, I, was, I, I don't worry, I've not burnt money on buying the actual Captain. I just used the Black Shield Warrior and just proxied him as the Captain. But I played, obviously, two games with my Moria Force. Uh, first game was against my Dunedain. It was just two small little 200 point games. I will get into the second one in a minute after this because you'll be crazy. It's kind of crazy how bad the captain is. Let's just put it that way. You obviously know the captain is bad. So, yeah, anyone who doesn't know his rules, he's 45 points for a captain. The downside is he has to always have a two handed weapon. So, therefore, minus one to the dual roll, and that is on both dice, not just one, on both dice that he rolls. Now, I thought I'd be smart, I'd mind the statue, wait till hopefully some of the Dunedain get cut down, but they didn't. And two Dunedain managed to cut through warriors that were sitting in front of them. Next turn, they moved, and or I believe that actually maybe hero combat into the captain off those warriors. Therefore, two 30 point Dunedain who had both burned up their might and both burned up their fate points, so they were pretty much ready for the killing. Simply just moved in front of him, won the roll off against him, and proceeded to absolutely murder him in one single turn. 45 points down the drain, his first combat he got into, boom, killed by two Dunedain. With no might points, no fate points on them, they just straight up attacked him. I believe they rolled at least a five each, one, at least a five or a six each, so therefore killing him and he fa his fate, he failed it. There was no chance of saving it, he rolled a one on his fate, so straight out, pointless and terrible. Now, second game, I thought I may as well give it two, give him a second try. So I did. Now this time I was playing a number 200 point game against Dark Dennis and the Mirkwood, so I'm trying out a Spider Force, so I just wanted to try out my Spider Force against like 200 points of Memorial Force. All went so far, so good. Obviously, he got into his first combat again, lost, nung apt him against a giant spider. A few combats later, he was in combat with two Goblin Warriors on either side of him against a giant spider that was actually weakened. It was down to its last wound. The giant spider. One turn, well, the captain, by shield captain, should I say, failed his combat. He, his whole minus one obviously lost combat for him, and the giant spider had a higher fight value compared to the goblins, which is amazing. Uh, the giant spider, I, it took out the two warriors because kill their numbers, get rid of them easier. It's more fun, uh, make them break quicker, etc. Come the next turn, the black shield captain. Fluffed his roll again, and the giant spider absolutely ate him. Well, wounded him down. He was down to one wound. Next turn, giant spider done it again. I right killed him. I am... I'm not one to say that don't play a model, but... Oh my god. For 45 points, you could upgrade your Moria Goblin Captain, who basically does the same thing. Well, not the same thing exactly, he not have the same def well he does have the same defense, sorry. You could upgrade him with a shield and a bow or either or, which is great. So either way he's at least five points cheaper, or unless you want to go full forty five points. I'll give him a bow as well, unless you want to be a bit sneaky and annoying to your opponent. Both of them have march, etc. But Memoria Goblin Captain was surviving a lot better. Memoria Goblin Captain was actually up against the Spider Queen. The Spider Queen charged into the captain and the captain Somehow, I can't remember if he pushed her back or he survived her six monstrous, char monstrous charge attacks. He literally just stood there like, yep, come at me. Knocked the wind off, knocked the fate off. He's like, okay. So yeah, 
a cheap, scrawny little Murray Goblin Captain that starts at 35 points up to 40 is a lot stronger than a highly trained Black Shield Captain. It's insane. And like I say, you've seen the thumbnail, so you know where this Captain goes. If, if honestly they took away the whole two-handed nonsense, basically made out like, oh, you can have a two-handed weapon, but you can shield etc something like that just would be better but uh that's two games i played woman it's he's lost both combats i mean eaten eaten and beaten down by humans sorry not eaten by humans but eaten by a spider and beaten down by humans in two separate games it's unreal uh like i say i don't know what other people's experiences with them I just wanted to proxy him, play test him, because it's I've never I've never thought about using one. Just give me straight up goblin captains or a named goblin hero. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm kind of really boring myself with how bad he is. I'm probably boring you guys as well. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day, all the, and all that good stuff. Please like, subscribe, and all that goodness. And I would love to get your opinions on how bad or how good you think the Black Shield Captain is. So, I will see you next time, guys.